a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 has got a new redesigned cover screen which is a major upgrade compared to what we had on the Z Flip 4. And the new upgraded size opens up new possibilities like running full apps on the cover screen. That is awesome. I mean now you don't even have to open the phone to text someone. But right now there is a catch. Out of the box you can only run a couple of apps that are listed here. And these are also not enabled by default so you will have to go into the settings and then advanced features then tap on labs and here you'll have to enable apps allowed on the cover screen. And you can already see that there is a very limited selection of apps and there is no way to add more to this list which is obviously a huge limitation. But fortunately for us there is a way to run pretty much any app you want on the cover screen. And this can be very useful because then you don't have to open the phone just to do little things like showing photos and videos in the gallery, sending snaps over Snapchat, and doing super simple stuff like controlling your smart LED lights. So let me show you how to set this up because this is gonna make the phone even more functional and easier to use. And before you ask, yes, you can also play games on it. And I'll show you how good the experience is in this video itself. So hit the like button and watch this video properly from start to the end. Okay, so on your phone, open the Galaxy Store and search for an app called Goodlock. And here it is. Now, obviously, you'll need to install this. And this is not available in every region. So if it's not there on the Galaxy Store, then you'll have to find a way to bypass the region restriction. Once installed, open the app and on the bottom right, tap on Life Up. Now here, look for the multi-star module. Once you find it, go ahead and install it. And once installed, it's going to be listed on top in the Good Luck app. So go ahead and open it. Here, tap on I love Galaxy Foldable and then launch your widget. Now, before you add apps to this list, go ahead and enable the Good Lock Launcher widget by tapping on Enable Launcher widget. Now, make sure that the launcher is actually enabled in this list. And you also want to tap on Reorder and bring this to the top so you'll have easy access to this. Now, you can go back and start adding apps that you want to use on the cover screen. So there you go, I've added a few apps that I use frequently. So now we will be able to use them on the cover screen. So to access the apps, unlock the phone on the cover screen and then swipe. And here's the list of apps that we have just added. Now majority of the apps run totally fine and what took me by surprise is how well the Amazon Music app scales on the cover screen. I mean it is literally running in the 1 is to 1 square aspect ratio and it seems to run totally fine. You've even got the play pause buttons on the cover screen. That is awesome and very impressive. So you don't even have to open the phone to listen to your music and this is really a game changer because this this is gonna help extend the life of the hinge as well as the main display. I love it. And the navigation buttons are down over here. Also, a very important thing, the navigation on the cover screen depends on the type of navigation you've selected for the main display. So in the display settings, under navigation bar, if you have selected the swipe gestures, then you'll be able to use the swipe gestures on the cover screen. That means the edges of the display are going to be the back key and swiping in from the bottom will take you to the home screen. But if you have selected buttons, then you are going to see the navigation buttons at the bottom left corner of the screen. I would say that the buttons are easier to use because they've got their own dedicated space at the bottom left corner. And in some apps like Amazon Music, the buttons will hide automatically. So just swipe up to reveal them. Now, most of the apps do run quite okay on the cover screen and they scale quite well to this weird aspect ratio. But in some cases, you will encounter issues when it comes to app scaling. For example, take a look at this app. This is the Philips Wiz app that I use to control my LED lights and it doesn't really scale well on the cover screen. You can see the lights are not exactly visible. And this is something that app developers can actually fix. But fortunately, we are able to control the brightness because the brightness and the color temperature sliders are down here. But yeah, if the developers want, they can develop apps that run fine on the cover screen. 
Google Maps is a perfect example of this. The turn-by-turn -turn navigation works flawlessly on the cover screen. I actually use it quite often on the cover screen because of how convenient and compact it is. Now, social media apps like Instagram also works fine, although it's not exactly fun scrolling through posts because they cover the entire screen. I feel Samsung should collaborate with Meta and tweak the UI so that it is more suitable for this square aspect ratio. Now, when you launch Snapchat on the cover screen, you'll notice that the image coming from the camera is upside down. This is because the image is coming from the rear cameras and these are the rear cameras which are supposed to be facing up like this. But you can fix this quite easily by double tapping on the cover screen. So there you go, that will rotate the image. And apart from that, Snapchat works totally fine. You can take snaps and send them over and not to mention even chat with your friends. Now, you might think that typing is gonna be a pain on such a small screen, but it's actually not. So what we're gonna do is launch WhatsApp, open a chat and start typing. And this keyboard is awesome because it's got voice to text input. Just tap on the mic icon, start speaking and the phone will automatically translate your speech into plain simple text that you can send as a text message. So there you go or you can use the gesture input to type. And this is by far one of the easiest typing methods ever. Now it is disabled by default, so let me show you how to enable this. All right, so what you wanna do is go into the settings, then scroll down to general management. Here, tap on keyboard list and default, and then tap on Samsung keyboard. Scroll down to swipe, touch and feedback, and inside, tap on keyboard swipe controls and enable swipe to type. So this is what enables you to type using these swipe gestures. Also, if you don't see the mic icon, so if voice to text is not available, go back and then tap on voice input and make sure Samsung voice input or Google voice typing is enabled. Now this video would be incomplete without testing games on the cover screen. But long story short, gaming on the cover screen is totally possible. So here you can see I've got Dead Trigger 2 running and this game runs totally fine. The on-screen controls also work and the game had absolutely no issues adapting to the cover screen. Actually, most of the games that I tried had no issues running on the cover screen. So here is Asphalt 9 working perfectly fine. And coming to the actual gameplay, I think Asphalt 9 is probably the easiest to play out of them all because driving is pretty much automated. I also tried streaming games off my PC using Steam Link and you'll be happy to know that it does actually work. Although it is not practical to play PC games on such a small screen because they are not optimized. But if you still want to play PC games on such a small screen, you might want to think about investing in a game controller. Or else you're gonna find yourself fiddling with the controls more often than usual and you're not gonna enjoy watching the game. But yeah, there you go, we can actually stream games from our PC onto the phone using Steam Link and watch them on the cover screen. That is awesome and the best part is, Dota 2 actually scaled perfectly to the cover screen. Now if you don't like the on-screen controls, then you can use your PC's mouse. I did not expect this to work, but yeah, I've been proven wrong. So yeah, this was a complete rundown on how you can run pretty much any app you want on the cover screen. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them. And don't forget to check out my other videos about the Galaxy Z Flip 5. I've got more videos coming, so stay tuned. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next video. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.